The nail knot is a knot that you use to attach generally a leader to a fly line or the back into a fly line. It's again a little bit more complicated. Uh, there are a lot of tools out there on the market and you can utilize tools and tools certainly make it easier and quicker. But sometimes you're out in the water and something happens and you don't have a tool. So I'm just going to run over the basic nail knot, how to tie it without a tool. First thing I like to do is have a bit of nylon. I'm going to use this 50 pound slick shooter just because it's going to be visible for you. Uh, so, so I chop off a foot of that. You can equally use a bit of 20 pound regular nylon, which I'm not going to use because of the visibility. Or if the worst comes to the worst and you don't even have a bit of that, and you're just trying to attach a leader to your fly line, you just simply chop off about four inches of your leader butt section and that is a nice thick piece. So basically you're chopping yourself off a thick piece of tippet, of, of nylon. So how I like to do this knot is I like to hold about an inch of fly line in my left hand, being a right-handed knot tire. And I like to take a bit of this red stuff here, probably about eight inches pointing to the left-hand side and just pinch it at that one inch point here. I then take the yellow and kind of nippily and dexterously fold it in half like that and make a little loop in this bright yellow stuff. And then I lay that loop on top of this. So I've got a kind of a four meat sandwich. You've got the fly line here, the leader here, and then the two parts of the loop. And one word of warning is try, not make, try and make sure your loop isn't longer than the fly line because that can cause a bit of a problem later on. So I, I do like to make this loop a bit shorter than where the end of the fly line is. So that's my setup. Now what I like to do is kind of readjust my grip. So I'm going to pinch all this with my right hand and bring my left hand in over from the top but leaving behind the red. Pinch the red like this here now. Okay, so now all you do is you take this red stuff and you wind it around the fly line. One turn, pinch it with your left thumb and index finger. Second turn, tight, nice tight pinch. And a third turn, tight and pinch. And a fourth turn, I kind of generally like four or five turns in most of these knots that I tie. And then you just pinch that whole column of four turns on the, in your left hand here and thread the red through this stiff section here. Now watch carefully because sometimes you might let go and it might sp spring out. So just kind of watch that as you go through this next process. That does not want to pull out of this yellow loop. You see it's trying to go there. Then I kind of go through this gap in my hand, grab the yellow bits, both of them, and start to pull. And you can kind of see if we just manipulate that and twist that around what I'm doing. I'm pulling that red tag through underneath the coils and out the other side like that. Then you just tighten slowly. You can see that loop coil disappearing. And then you grab this little tag and again, you don't want to let this go because what happens if you let go, the whole thing springs into a horrible mess of untidiness. Tighten that, tighten that, kind of get it finger tight and carefully take a peek at your knot. There we go, that's not too bad. And then with my nails, what I like to do is I just push the coils together. Don't like any gaps in my nail knots. And then once I've got the gaps together, I just simply tighten everything. Pull the fly line and the tag in, pull the nail knot end. And that is a quick, simple way of tying a nail knot without a tool. Rio, make the connection.